the grave of Kislev's most glorious leader. If Tsar Boris Boka did not slumber in ice, he could have safeguarded Ursul. How low the motherland has fallen without you, my Tsar. How God is taken from us. I see it in visions. His death draws near. And yet your fool daughter dallies in games of politics. If only you were here, you could save Austin. That it cannot be. I will keep the faith as Kislev dies. Farewell, Mazar. Poor Costalte. His zealotry blinds him to hope, deafens him to the cry from the cold void. But I hear you, Boris Boga. Your spirit stirs in Kislev's hour of need. Let me guide you to Ursul for one drop of his divine blood. A fair price to save the motherland. first soul harvested, when all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Ursul will be within our reach. But what's this? The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. It was the Old Ones that shaped this world into a paradise. Yet the power they harnessed to move sun and rock could not be tamed. Raw magic erupted from the Great Cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Yet one of their prey betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood, and he became the first demon prince, Belakor. He clawed at the world, scarred with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Belakor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of chaos, have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more power. Answer me! The four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His armies, his power, his form. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows, powerless for eternity. Damn the gods! Belakor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed? Ursul is not dead. 
the bear still clings to life. Of course, God blood to break a curse. Too long. I was imprisoned in shadow. Finally, my flesh returns. Flesh to tear, little demon. When I am free, you will know the wrath of a god. The bonds of the forge are strong, and you grow weak. Our journey is not complete. The Lord of Shadows is a shadow no more. With his curse broken, he can pursue his burning desire to enact revenge and dominate the world. So, Belakor has rebuilt his throne of old. But to what purpose? He has no followers, no army. Even the Chaos Gods abandoned him. <laughs> Does something amuse you? You sit in your little chair. But what power do you really wield? Hidden away, deep in this forge. Hidden. Your roar was felt across the world. A god's carrion will attract powerful scavengers. Let them come. The essence of the slain will be repurposed into an army. It cannot be. Belakor controls the Forge of Souls. He intends to build an army of the most twisted manifestations. Soul Grinders. Your Chaos Masters will not allow it. I have no masters! The Chaos Gods are forbidden to enter here. Silent. While we wait. Wait. For what? For you to die. How does it feel to face death like a mortal? Come closer, and I will show you. <laughs> Know this as you fade. All of your struggles, sacrifices, your victories and labors were for nothing. I will not be so careless with your power. They will waste their last breath cursing your name. will soon ascend. Belakor, the Chaos God of Shadows. But his transformation will take time. He can still be stopped. He must be stopped. Then Ursin's power is yours. Empires forged, demons slain. The realm of chaos endured and mastered. 
The time has come to fulfill the final part of the pact. The spirits imprisoned in the Tome of Fates now untether. They combine into a single light, casting a shadow as they journey to the forge. As shadows fall, we shall step. A bridge revealed to the Forge of Souls. Bellacor is on the verge of Godhold, but he has not ascended yet. What he started, we will finish. Destroy him and claim the power of the Bear God. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Bellacor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Ursa, the once mighty god of Kislev. Azar stands before his lifeless god. Vengeance cannot fill the void left by his passing. The god bear stirs. The spirit of Bodice Bokka sparks new fire within his still heart. With Urson's roar, Kislev is restored. The crops shall grow, the beasts will fatten, and the motherland will prosper once again. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us?